today we'll cover how to record motion capture data inside of Unreal Engine 4. First, make sure the Live Link is broadcasting property. We cover this in detail in another video, but here's a quick look at what you should see inside of Access Studio. Make sure your character is named properly. Go to the main menu, Settings, check that Joint Space is turned off and that the BBH settings are correct. Now let's open the Unreal Editor. Check that the data is streaming in the Live Link panel. Go to Window, Cinematics, Take Recorder. That will open the Take Recorder window and the sequencer. You'll want to dock these windows. Then click on your character in the viewport. Go to the Take Recorder window, click on Source, From Actor, then click the character in your scene being driven by the Live Link data. Make sure the data is streaming. And then when you're ready, click the record button. Click stop when you're done. Takes are stored by default in the Take Browser. To access the Take Browser, go to Window, Cinematics, Take Browser. Every take creates three different files. A level sequence, an animation track, an animation sequence. The animation sequence creates functions like any other animation sequence. In the animation sequence settings, make sure force root lock is turned off. The level sequence functions just like any other sequence. Click the lock so you can unlock the sequence and make edits. If you double click on the sequence, you can access the animation tracks. The animation track is where you can edit keyframes if desired. To do this, make sure the control rig plugin is installed. To do this, go to the Edit, Plugins, type in Control Rig, enable the plugin if needed. The editor may need to restart. If you created a Control Rig for your character, you can click Bake to Control. If you do not, select the Edit in the FK Control Rig. This will allow you to easily modify your animation in the timeline and viewport. As you can see, the animation has been baked to the control rig. If you open the dropdown, you can see the available controls for edit. Now you can edit your retarget animation data. And that's it for this video. See you next time.